Hey guys, welcome to my video. So tonight um, I'm just doing a little bit of video on this new style motor. Um, it's based on my Bedini motor that I sell in my store. Um, this one has the Neo magnet, so eight Neo magnets. And then I have a uh, 18 gauge coil with a solid core. It's actually two pieces of 3 8 steel. Um, optical timing and MOSFET circuit. And um, for those of you who didn't see the previous uh, video there's also some information on that too but um, basically I just want to kind of run down um, some of the features that this thing can do like this setup and um, so we're right now I have this super cap hooked up um, one of my customers sent this to me the other day and it, they're really nice they come out to 16 and a half volts max um, super cap I just put them in series and then we just have a regular lead acid battery um, for secondary output and um, I have my cap dump uh, each of these is 10,000 so this is 80,000 and then one of my transformers that's uh, one to one uh, it has a full bridge rectifier on the back and um, yeah so I'm just gonna start this up and do some tests here so um, the first way we want to run it is just standard just like a Bedini motor just going to put these right here. So this is just like a Bedini circuit output. And um, it's going to go into the second battery. So let's fire this up. So this is the normal way that majority of people run. And we can kind of see the RPM. So 340, 400. We'll say 400, a little over 400 RPM. And then we can see cap dump dumping uh, it's a little over an amp about an amp and a half each pulse and um, let's get this up a little bit more so this is the first way this is the standard way the diodes come right off um, the returning leg of the coil and then uh, the positive actually gets um, positive from diodes and the negative connects straight over to the positive of the first battery, um, in this case the super cap. So let's um, change this out. So the second way to do it is generator mode. And um, on this circuit I don't have it, but it's very easy to make it in generator mode with just a diode. So put this on there. And let's fire this back up. So using quite a bit more power, but now we're getting a lot more back. So we're using about 200 milliamps right now. Surging just a little tiny bit. And let's see the RPMs. So 560. 200 milliamps. Alright. So these are the first two basic Bedini ones. You have the regular output, then you have the generator mode um, that diodes back to the to the negative side. And um, um, usually with the transformer, um, it goes in series like this, from yellow to yellow. But in this motor's case, I am actually just going to direct short it across the output which none of the motors I have are able to do this without making the motor use tremendous amount of power so it's kind of unique so let's hook that up so now we're directly into the transformer so now um, this output is completely isolated so we could actually go here or back to here whatever you want to do with which is kind of neat so let's fire this up so now we're using 100 milliamps barely even see that on the scale yep. and now we're still pulsing into the second battery just a little bit slower and let's check the RPM so 590 almost almost 600 588 so this is completely isolated um, which is really nice so I could put it back into the super cap if I want and then so the last output way you could do for this motor 
is actually short it back to itself which in pretty much all pulse motors when you do this it really affects them makes pretty much a direct short across it um, but for some reason this motor likes it so how this is set up the output's coming out and then going back and then going back to the positive and going back that way but normally that's pretty detrimental but um, on this motor it um, actually likes it a lot for some reason and now we're using 60 milliamps I can see what the RPMs are so now we're 694 so almost 700 so pretty interesting little little effect and um, yeah so this is the super cap voltage right here if you if you didn't have this one right here you'd think it just stays there you know but with that one you could see that it's slowly slowly going down but um, looks like that would take a really long time so yeah pretty neat so what we could do now let's um, shut this down we'll take this fan off and see what the lowest power usage that it could do so with the short shorted output no load still speeding up so now we're down to just a hair under five so we're about 50 50 milliamps 40 48 milliamps which is super low and um, yeah 887 rpms so that's pretty impressive for, the, for that amount of wattage let's see what that wattage is with no load so we're point zero four nine times fourteen point six eight equals so just over almost three quarter amp so point seven watts total that's pretty good and it's just purring right along and um, what we can do also right now is let's shut this down let's take this off here and let's put this back over here so with the transformer the isolated output we can just go right back to the super cap which is what so many people like doing which I actually like doing too so let's fire this thing up which is pretty neat and uh, so now we're going through the output through the transformer one to one isolated output into here through the amp meter and then back to the super cap and you can see it's just kind of bouncing up as it's running which is pretty cool so it takes a little longer to charge because that's you know, 49 milliamps but um there you go pretty neat so anyway guys thought i'd share that with you thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my store